Welcome to another episode of Unlocking the Mind Behind Make More Work Less. Hi, my name is Fang Chua. I'm an entrepreneur, business strategist, real estate investor, speaker, and also a best selling author. And every single day, I help others unlock the potentials and guide them to succeed, whether it's to increase their credibility, expand the exposure, or create multiple streams of income for them. Today on Unlocking the Mind, we talk about another cognitive bias. And to kind of introduce that cognitive bias, first of all, I want to say the reason why we do this is so that we can better understand our minds, how we make decisions, how we build relationships, and sometimes avoid certain cognitive biases so that we don't have to fall into those cognitive traps. Now, for today's theme, um, I'm going to ask you one quick question. Have you ever gotten to a situation where after the situation has happened, you go, you know what, that one's so bad. Well, that basically is the impact bias. And the impact bias is the tendency to overestimate the intensity and the duration of our emotions, uh, emotional reactions on something that's gonna happen in the future. And usually this thought process kind of saves us. We kind of have this thought process because we wanna protect us. We wanna be able to predict what's going on, what's gonna happen, and also how we're gonna feel. So another example of that was, is basically saying, hey, why don't you try this new food? Or why don't you go to watch that scary movie? Well, certain things come into our minds. If it's that new food, you might think about, hmm, I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna like it. What if I feel sick? What if I don't feel good? What if I throw up? And then you kind of go, hmm, I don't, I'm not sure. Or maybe that scary movie, you start thinking, hmm, I'm not a very good person when it comes to, when it comes to scary movies. I'm going to be scared. I might lose sleep for the next week. I'm never going to be able to see a movie again. I'm never going to be able to walk into a house again. And you come up with all these scenarios. And that's because you're overestimating that impact. You're overestimating how long that impact will have on you. And it might stop you in your tracks. It might stop you from going to watch that movie. It might stop you from trying things that you've never tried before, trying that new food, trying how spicy that new chicken wing is or something like that. So then three or four things, three things might happen. One, if you go, you know what, I'm good, I don't wanna try it, then you may or may not miss out. The second thing that might happen is you try it and you go, mm, you know what, it wasn't so bad, which is usually what the case is. And three, you might try it and go, wow, that was the best uh, spicy food I've ever had, or that was an amazing scary movie, it made me feel excited, it made me feel alive. So there's usually three things that will happen towards the situation and those are the three. And no, most normally, it's not as bad as you think. It's not as bad as you predict. And that's just because, like I said, it, we tend to try and protect ourselves so that we don't fall into certain, uh, certain traps or fall into certain scenarios that we don't wanna be able to get out of. So that's why we have this impact bias. We overestimate those, those situations. Uh, one example for myself that was basically impact bias for me was I, uh, I used to perform and sing on stage and there was this one scenario and this one time that I completely forgot my lyrics and from that moment on I kind of kind of made that situation a lot more worse because you know what I'm never going to perform again. Uh, I don't want to ever feel this again and I basically uh, rejected or stopped any opportunity from singing on stage again. Uh, when people ask, I go, yeah, I don't have time. Yeah, it's not for me. And I kept on rethinking that thought process and making that impact a lot longer than it should be. And then finally, I broke past that and it was the best thing in the world. It, it made me relive those emotions, relive that scenario. And since then, I've been occasionally asked back to, to perform on stage, which has been something I've missed for many, many years. And in fact, there was a 10 year gap since the first time where I messed up till I went back on stage to sing. So that's because it's that impact bias. You kind of think about, oh, that negative feeling wasn't very good. I'm going to never do it again. And you kind of just prevent that from ever happening. You extend that impact and you go, you know what? I, it's time for me to break out of it. So the thing is, by doing this, you kind of, uh, the most likely you prevent yourself from growing. You prevent yourself from trying new things. You prevent yourself from achieving certain goals that you've always wanted to do. Some other scenarios are uh, doing cold calls or doing calls to potential clients or making up uh, meetings to, to get to know people. You might sit there and go, mm, I don't know, I might get rejected. What if that call doesn't go well? What if this person doesn't like me? And you come up with all these scenarios that you may or may not want to experience. So then you don't do that call. You don't set up that appointment. Uh, another scenario is a lot of people who wants to uh, potentially change jobs. They realize they don't like the job they're in now and they're thinking about doing something different. 
But then they start thinking about, well, all my family and friends might not think it's a good idea. What if this happens? Uh, what if I will never be able to work in this industry again? And you start coming up with all these scenarios and you stunt yourself from actually trying. So the main thing is we need to start looking at things from more objective point of view and go, you know what? I know this is happening. I know the impact back bias is happening. I know I'm overestimating or over predicting what's actually going to happen. And most likely than not, it's not going to be as bad as I think. And therefore, you need to take those actions if you want to grow. You need to take those actions and overcome that impact bias if you want to achieve the goals that you want to do and achieve the dreams that you always wanted to, to have. So that's how you overcome the impact bias by taking a step back and realizing, yes, that's what we have and we have to overcome it. Now, this also goes the other way as well. When we do something nice for somebody, we feel that and expect and overestimate their reaction back to us. Maybe that are going to be happier for a long, long time. And then you realize that after it happens, uh, after moments later, it's like nothing ever happened. And you kind of feel disappointed or you feel like, hey, I just did this for you. Shouldn't you be more grateful than just the two, three seconds of you saying thank you? So we overestimate the happiness. We overestimate the positivity as well. And we do this to ourselves. Sometimes we think that, hey, if I achieve this goal, I'm going to feel great and it's going to keep me going for days, if not weeks, if not years, and I'm going to keep on moving, moving, moving. But once you finish achieving that, you had that expectation before and you realize, huh, well, now I want to do something else. Now I want to achieve something else. Now I want to take on another project. You realize that that happiness level that you kind of overestimated before is really not as high as you thought. So again, with happiness, with positivity, with negativity, the, those negative thoughts, those positive thoughts, we usually overestimate those thoughts when trying to predict those outcomes. And that's all because we're trying to protect ourselves. So that is the impact bias. And if you like this episode, please go back and watch some of my other episodes on cognitive bias on unlocking the mind. And if you like this, we also have lots of other shows, the Peak Potential Success Show. We have the Make More Mind Bites and of course, Master Mind Bites that's up every single week. So please like, follow, su subscribe. And I thank you very much for your support. Until next time, today is the day to unlock your potential. We'll see you later.